everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Morning everybody, welcome to my channel. How are you doing? Hopefully you're all alright. We've got a tipper and front it's got a, uh, a no cyclist warning light on. Normally they only come on when um, when you're actually indicating a left. But uh, it's on all the time on that one. <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing? Hopefully you're well. Um, today is Tuesday and we are currently in Warrington. We've got a delivery to Bent Garden Centre. In Warrington. We're just around the corner, um, so we're going to be there in a minute. And then we got to make our way to Conway in North Wales, and that was my best North Wales accent. <laughs> um, it's right on the north coast, I believe, as well, so we might be able to get some good views of the sea. Um, we will see. Excuse the pun. But yeah, no, we're going to um, we're going to crack on to uh, the garden centre first. We've got ten pallets that need to come off here, and then we've got. Uh, 18 bags and one pallet for the second drop um, but yeah it's all on the trailer all strapped up I'll show you what all hopefully when we get to this destination uh, so you can see what's coming off oh that sun is bright that is a that is a bright sun <laughs> um, right so we're just around the corner now man that is bright uh, yeah, we're just around the corner. It should be just behind these trees here on the left. Uh, we're going to go left at this roundabout, I believe. There we go. Bent's Garden Centre. Go left. Oh wow, that is that is quiet in there. You look on Google. Uh, you look on Google Earth and stuff. That car park is rammed. Obviously. Covid and pandemic, very quiet. What's going on there? Some sort of sculpture? Wrapping a tree or something? Right, I believe I go straight on looking at Google Maps yesterday. There was a sign that said Goods in. Yeah, Goods in down there. There's a seven and a half ton down there as well. Look, looks like they're one of their own trucks. Happy days. I love it when the car parks are quiet because you can just go so much faster. <laughs> You've got to worry so much about anyone. Order and collect, we don't want that. Okay, it's a little bit busier down here. Okay, it says goods in straight on, look. I see a forklift there as well, so. I'll just stop here for a sec. Go and see them and uh, see where they potentially want me. Okay, there is uh, there's two little like seven and a half ton vans in here as well. So I'll go see them and uh, see where they want me. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are. Pallets are coming off. We got. One, two, three, four, five, this side, and then another five the other side. Uh, they've all been taken off. Well, some of them have. I'll just show you. Yeah, so uh, three, three have been taken off there. 
and then just that one and that one. Happy days. Right, we are unloaded. Um, just working out driving time, so we've got, an, we've got just over, a, well, just under an hour and a half driving time left, and we're <laughs> it's sub's law that we're an hour and a half away from where we need to be. Uh, so we probably will be stopping some on the way. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, but if we can get there, because I just looked on Google uh, on Google Maps and. Uh, Although we've got to go down a, a lane called Narrow Lane, it doesn't look narrow at all. And it's right next to the place we need to deliver to. And I reckon that we could stop there for a break if we needed to. Uh, that's a bit narrow, actually. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> oh, we've got a truck here that we need to get in. That's good. We got here before he did. Happy days. Thank you, mate. There's a couple of trucks in there, though, buddy. So watch out for them. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we've got to go to uh, North Wales now. We're an hour and a half away. We've got an hour and a half of driving time left, so we might have to stop somewhere on the way for a break. Or if we can, if we can make up some time, because uh, normally we can make up time on A roads. If we can make up some time, we might be able to get there, get unloaded, and then have a break um, after we've been unloaded, or maybe even before we were unloaded. I don't know. It's uh, it's an hour and a half away, so we'll uh, we'll work it out when we're a bit closer. Um, it's mostly main roads there and A road, so uh, I'm sure there'll be laybys. So yes, let's get crack lacking, as the top says. Um, I was going to take my high vis off, but it's too late now. Yeah, there's the tree there. Look, uh, they were doing something to it. They're putting some sort of protective netting cover over it. I don't know. But this garden centre is huge. It's a massive garden centre, and I think I saw they got some sort of crazy golf in it as well. If anyone's in this area, I was told, or I've been, I've been, it's been mentioned a few times that perhaps in videos I should give a bit more detail about the places I go to. It's been, it's been mentioned a few times by a few people, um, and I am thinking of doing it. It's just obviously I need to do some research. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, there's um, there's some sort of uh, crazy golf centre in there, in that garden centre, if anybody is in the Warrington area. But yeah, yeah, so no, we are going to Con Convey. Convey by O is where we're going now. So let's get going. Let's get crack a lack in. I will see you in a little while. Okay, here we are then. We're on the A55, I think. Uh, we've just stopped in a lay-by to have half an hour break. Lovely little mountain view up there, look. Um, so yeah, we've got to just stop here for a break now before we continue, because we're on four hours and 15 minutes driving. And um, I don't know when, when I, uh, where the next lay-by is, so I thought I'd just stop here. Uh, better safe than sorry, but it's a nice, Nice little road, this the eighty-five. Lots of uh, lots of trucks going up the hill, rather slowly, mind. But uh, I don't know, it's pretty uh, pretty nice road. Not gonna lie. So yeah, we're just gonna have a break now. I don't know what I'm doing after this. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing after this, uh, or where I'm going to get loaded. No, no idea. Not a clue. So we'll have to wait and see. What did that say? Wait in limited to four hours. Does that mean you can't park here overnight? I think that means you can't park here overnight. Wait in limited to four hours. That would indicate you can't stay overnight. Yeah, so yeah, there, there's the truck left. Fully, fully winter spec. Anyway, let's have our break.
Okay, and uh, here we are. We're in Conway. Uh, it's lovely roads here, man. I really, really like the roads in, in North Wales. Um, we went on holiday in North Wales not too long ago, me and the family and the kids. Um, and the, the roads are just beautiful, mate. They're, they're, oh, my God, they're beautiful. Anyway, we're, um, we're about two miles away, maybe three. Um, and do you remember I said earlier about, you know, giving you some interesting facts, perhaps, about the places I visit? It is something I've been contemplating doing for a while, and it has been something that's been mentioned a couple of times by a few people, so uh, I thought I would. So on my break, I just had a quick, a very quick search of Conway, um, and it was actually uh, one of the places that me and my family nearly came to visit uh, because of the castle. We were going to come and see Conway Castle, uh, but we didn't. In the end, we went somewhere else, <laughs> uh, which I can't pronounce. It begins with a T. Ted to Wegg or Leg or something like that castle. Um, but yeah, no, there's, uh, there's Conway Castle in Conway, uh, and apparently it was built on the instruction of Edward the um, First. I think it was built between the year 18... Was it 18? I think it was 1883. And, no, 12, sorry. It was 12. Between the year 1283 and uh, 1289, I believe it was. And um, Edward the First was... Edward... Uh, sorry, Edward the First was... I'm not... See, I'm not very good at history. Ed, Edward the First was Henry the Third's firstborn son so yeah he eventually become king so happy days there you go a little bit of history about um where am i Ken kenway Calway. <laughs> um but yeah and also population of um around about fifteen thousand people in 2001 and uh there's also uh, a place around here i can't remember what it's called now more tears or something like that i can't remember uh and it was potentially the first place that uh golf was played on welsh soil there you go. There's some facts for you. Um, we may see the castle in the distance, in the, in, like because we've got to come off in a mile's time. But we may see it around about 10, 11 o'clock over there on the left-hand side. We may see it. I'm not sure. It's just off a little bit further down uh, the A55. But we're coming off uh, before we get to that bit. So, yeah. Anyway, that's cool. Look. There's mountains up there. There's a little bit of snow on them. I do like Wales. Wales is a beautiful place, man. And Scotland. So beautiful. Okay, we want to go over the train track. Here's the train track. Excellente. And then I believe we want to make a right turn here. And that's where we're delivering, right there. But I think, uh, yeah, except for access. There we go, let's show and Tom out again. Yeah, the entrance to the yard is here on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna put the uh, the old hazards on. Cause I'm not sure if I got a drive in or reversing off the road. Matey boy can see me, is he coming over? Nope, right, I'm gonna go see him, be right back. Right, apparently, we're in the wrong yard. I want to go right out of it. Well, we've got to turn round, turn right, and then go right again. So, we need to spin round. Got a car right behind me. I mean, has stopped, that's good. Want to mind the van on the left? Excellent. Better put my seatbelt on a sec. 
Yeah, so he said go right and then right again on the yards on the right. So we are delivering to that place, but uh, they've obviously got a separate yard. This one here, look. Yeah. Yeah, same place, same name on it. Is that woman just gonna cross or at least there's more room in here, we can drive straight in. Just gotta find out where they want me now. Lovely nice big yard though. Alright, let's go speak to someone, see you in a bit. Okay, here we are then. We're, uh, we're in now. we just got to uh, undo all the straps. One, two, three, four, five. Five straps to undo. Uh, and then we can uh, get on with being unloaded. So, let's undo the straps. Right, we're uh, we're tipped. <laughs> We've actually been here a bit longer than I ideally wanted to be. We've been here for an hour now, but uh, we shall make our move. We might need to get another angle here because I ain't got enough room. I don't think it's start turning. I've got something on the left of me, so I need to get a better angle. There we go, hope that's better. So I couldn't, I couldn't turn any sharper because I got a chop on the left of me, which you'll see in a minute. So I couldn't turn the trailer anymore. Cheers, mate. There we go. Hazards off. In gear, thank you very much. Alright, let's put my seatbelt on. And I believe we're going left out of here, going the way out, uh, the same way we come in. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. So yeah, we're going to head towards Blackburn. Uh, we've got to get reloaded with 24 pallets. I don't know what they're pallets of. I don't know whether this guy just flashed me because he knows me or because he's letting me out, I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know what we're getting loaded with, it just says 24 pallets. That ECM let me out as well, thank you very much. Um, and it's got to go to Basingstoke, but it's due for delivery tomorrow. Don't change, don't change, don't change. Prepare to stop, but don't change. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so we've got to go get loaded today, deliver tomorrow in Basingstoke. Um, so we're going to be stopping somewhere. I want to aim to get down to Newbury, somewhere like near the A34. Ideally, uh, get to Oxford off the M40, but um, we'll have to see how much driving time we've got when we get there. I estimate, uh, well at the moment I've done, because on this track you've got to work it out all manually. <laughs> uh, I got, I'm on half an hour now and I've done four hours 15 earlier, so that's uh, 4, 4.45 and we're two hours away, so that's 6.45. Say a little bit of movement in the yard as well, should be on about seven hours driving uh, by the time I'm loaded. So it should leave me with two hours driving time left uh, to get far south as I can on a, on a nine hour drive. Or I could go into a 10 hour drive uh, and, and then I'll have three hours driving time. Um, but we'll also have to take into consideration work and time as well. So I um, can't remember for the life of me what time I started this morning because it, it feels like ages ago, but I checked my paperwork. I think I started about five o'clock. So I could work until eight o'clock tonight if I really wanted to. Um, but I would have thought I'd run out of driving time before working time. 
but again we'll we're, we're cross that bridge when we when we get there but yeah for now it's a two hour drive to Blackburn our ETA is three o'clock we've got to get loaded before four o'clock so hopefully we'll uh, be able to get in and, and, and load it so yeah see you in a bit okay you now join us uh, on the M65 uh, on the outskirts of Blackburn which uh, we're uh, gonna go and uh, go and get loaded um, yeah, we've got to get. I think we've got to get 24 pallets. That's what it says in the paperwork. Uh, but we'll see exactly what we get loaded once we actually get there. Um, quick fact: uh, Blackburn has a population of 120,000 people, as opposed to where we just were, um, which only had 15,000 people. So much more dense here where we are. Much more dense. And did you know? Blackburn was um, mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Take that as you will. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently they were mentioned in the Doomsday Book, book uh, like 1086 or something like that. I don't know. Just random facts. Just trying it out. See, see if you like it. Maybe I'll go in more detail with more places I visit. Who knows? Right, what do we want? What do we want? 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we want the left lane. Left lane. Oh, it said something as well about Blackburn potentially being or meaning Black Stream. Or something that's where it's been translated from i don't know i don't know got a pc uh lancashire there the lancashire constabulary but um yes yeah, it's, it's, it's three o'clock in the afternoon now so uh it did say on the paperwork that we got to get loaded by four o'clock or four o'clock was the latest anyway um so fingers crossed they'll load us without a hitch and then it does say delivery is due for two o'clock. Uh, sorry, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, that's quite a late start. We will see. I'll um, I'll see what time they open on Google. I maybe even give them a call actually before I leave or as I'm leaving, just to uh, or on the way, try to find out if I can get in there a little bit earlier. Why not? Why not? Indeed. Right. Where are we going? We're going to go straight over this roundabout. We're literally just around the corner now. So. What's that about then? Maybe if I got time, I'll uh, search what that's about. Okay, we're coming off here. Burnley Road local shops. Oh, this don't look good. <laughs> I had a little twinge when I come round here. I was like, oh, should I be down here? I think we're just turning right down here, so hopefully we'll be okay. Do not want to be ending up in a housing estate. Start indicating. We're looking for Kenyan logistics or warehousing or something. Yeah, there it is. Kenyan, 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 Kenyan. It's all clear. Gonna have to get that curb just so we get around this corner. It's a little bit tight getting in here, you know? There we go. Right, I don't know where we need to go. Reception's down there, so I think we're just going to have to stop here put the hazards on and go go and speak with someone. Oh, hang on. All drivers must report to reception for instructions before proceeding. The driver's reception is down there, but I'm right. Right. Uh, I'll take my mask as well. Is it in my pocket? in my pocket. There it is. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we're done. We're fully loaded. I'm not quite ready to go yet because I, I need to put this for the uh, postcode destination in. So uh, I just thought I'd let him go first. There is a truck behind me as well, annoyingly. Well, if he wants to go any further, he's going to have to wait because I am ready to go. Anyway, yeah, so um, we got loaded proper quick, man. There were four forklifters on me. Um, so we got loaded. Put it this way, I got here at three o'clock. It's 20 past three now. So we've only been in here for 20 minutes and uh, no no word of a lie, a good 10 minutes of that was just doing, uh, undoing and doing up the curtains. So 
yeah, they were <laughs> they were on me. I said, I said to him, I said, bloody hell, you guys don't mess about, do you? He goes, no, mate. <laughs> right, so I'm just planning the route now to where we got to go. Uh, I've already shown you how I do that. Right, so I found out where it is on the sat-nav. So it's taken me directly to the place I need to go to. I'm just working out how much driving time i got left now. That put me to seven, eight, nine. So I've got two hours, 19 minutes. Or three hours, 19 minutes. <laughs> it's a five hour drive. <laughs> I did ask which way to go out because uh, it does look like there's an, e an exit on the other side of the, th of, the uh, of the yard. But he said go out the way I come in, so that's what I've done. Got no choice but to go on the curbs here. There's just not enough room. Lovely doubly, there's a Focus RS. Is that an RS or an ST? It's not. It's an ST. Excellent, right, we're out. We can start making our way now. So yeah, it's, it's a good, uh, good five hour journey to our destination, which is obviously why it's delivery tomorrow and not today. Keep coming, you've got loads of room. Keep coming, you've got loads of room. Now we don't have room with him there. I'll slow down, mate. That's fine. Excellent. <laughs> right, lights are on. We're good to go. I'm just going to uh, move the steering wheel down a little bit. Like I said, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get to, like, Newbury. But I think even that might be pushing it. I'm, uh, I'm going to do some calculations on the way down and uh, have a look. It's one of those things you, you just don't know until you start driving and see how far you get, basically. Uh, like I said, I've got two hours, so I'll see where I am in the next hour or so. And then I, I should be able to judge then roughly where I'm going to be able to park. Right. See you in a bit. It might be dark when I next see you. Okay, hello, everybody. You join me about three hours later. We've uh, we've been driving for two and a half hours, plus we had a half an hour break. Um, uh, where did we stop? It was uh, Sta not Stansted, Stafford, that's the one. So we, yeah, we stopped at Stafford Services on the M6 southbound. Uh, we had half an hour break, because that's what we needed. And then we continued driving to where we are now, and we're going to stop at Lincoln Farm again, one of my favourite places to, to park up for the night, because they do really nice food for like hardly any extra money. It's on Snap. So the Snap account pays for it. We do have goods on board. Um, so we don't really want to be parking in laybys um, with, with what I've got on. It's nothing valuable, but it is nickable, if that makes sense. All right, guys, six o'clock. Behind the car touch, boy. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Right, then. Go next to the green one, please, Tom. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, why don't you put it in half hour, mate? Yeah, uh, all right, mate, no worries. Uh, I'll, turn yeah. I'll turn around here. Uh, mate, anyway, <laughs> you watch me on YouTube. <laughs> Nice to, uh, nice to see you, mate. Go next to the green one. I'm going to assume we mean the Downtons. So there's green on this side. Yeah, it's the only green truck I can see, so... Definitely green, isn't it? Yeah, that's green. That is definitely green. Right, moment of truth. Hours driven today. Oh yeah, bloody hell! Nine hours, eleven minutes. So I've literally only just got into a ten, which is annoying. And the other day, I literally just went into a fifteen-hour shift as well. So <sighs> yeah, bit annoying that. Um, sort myself out, clean myself up. I'm going to uh, get some hot food, and then. Uh, Go to bed. Well, watch TV and then go to bed. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow in the morning. I'll probably wait until I'm somewhere near down Basingstoke before you see me next. So you won't see me leave here. You see me leave here loads of times. Right. See you tomorrow. 
Good morning, everybody. Welcome. We are... Oh, Jesus, this is going to be tight. We're just around the corner now from where we need to be. Um, I wasn't expecting the turn in that tight. Not going to lie. I, uh, I keep yawning this morning. We could just make that look. Ooh. Yeah, I keep yawning this morning. Um, probably could have done with an extra hour in bed, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, no, never mind. It's, uh, it's just gone quarter past eight. Um... I said my paperwork said be here for nine o'clock, so um, I'm er I am early. I need to slow down going around this corner because I'm not going to get round without going over the curb. So yeah, we are early here, uh, but hopefully they can get us in, get us offloaded because we um, we don't have a. Me go on, go 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 go. I can't get round with you there. We don't have a mega um, busy day. It's relatively simple. But um, I am a little bit concerned on um, timing, let's say, because it's quite a late start um, to be delivering here, to be honest with you. Anyway, we've got to go to, we've got to get this offloaded, then we've got to go to Southampton, get reloaded, then go to Swindon, and then go to uh, Cheltenham. That's all we've got to do. Sounds, sounds simple, <laughs> but um, depends how long it takes to get loaded and then loaded in places. That's, that's that's what matters. Anyway, I've not been to this place, so I don't actually know if I'm heading to the right place or not. So I'm just, just having a look. It might be in the true line. It, we, we, we haven't got to go to true line, but it does say on street view that it's true line, but I think it's in there. But there's not a lot of room in there. But I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So we're heading there anyway. Because we've got to get a VOW. V O W. Everyone behind me? Yeah, there's not. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a sign there. It says VOW, go right. Okay, that's good. All deliveries to the rear of the building. Yeah. That's what I thought. Or oh, Street View, it doesn't say VOW, it just says True Line. But I did think it was going to be down here, and that's confirmed it. Uh, sound horn, high-vis vests, recycle, blah, blah, blah. doesn't say stop, so we'll carry on. I think I'll just go down here and spin round, and uh, I'll face back this way and go and see someone. Bye, mate. I guess not. <laughs> I'm going to try and park behind this Arctic here. I'm going to spin around if I can. Although I don't know the best way to spin around in here. I think it's going to be a case of trying to do it here. Oh, there was an arrow there saying do it the other way, but don't mind. Slow on those tyres. Excellent. I think this is a loading bay right here. Yeah, I don't know what door we need, so I'm thinking about just waiting here. I think just go and find someone. Right. Let's go and have a word with someone. See what they say. See you in a bit. Okay. So we're here now. Curtains are undone. As you can see, these are all the boxes that we've got coming off. Uh, it's 20, 24 uh, pallets. And uh, as you can see, it was the nickable stuff, which is why we uh, had to park up in secure parking last night, because anyone could uh, take any of these if they really wanted to. So yeah, 24 pallets to come off. Uh, we've turned up at just the right time. Uh, just after we turned up, there's a Gregory's driver there who turned up right after us. So turned up bang on right time happy days right let's get these off and then uh we can make our way towards southampton get loaded with uh with pallets for shep in swindon see you in a bit right we are unloaded 
got to build some air up. We've, uh, yeah, my seat's gone down. <laughs> We've been here slightly longer than I ideally would have wanted, but uh, not a lot we can do about that. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, so we got here. Come on, air. Yeah, we got we got here at um, like quarter past eight, twenty past eight. It's now nearly quarter to ten. <laughs> We've been here longer than ideally wanted, but uh, never mind. We're offloaded now. We were booked in for nine o'clock, and. Um, they, they wouldn't start me until nine o'clock, basically. Uh, even even though I was here early, they wouldn't actually unload me until uh, my booking in time. Uh, there were no other trucks here, it was just me. Um, but they had to clear space or something in the warehouse, they said, so uh, they weren't expecting me to be here at that time. So never mind. But I'm glad I did get there when I did because the Gregory's truck that turned up shortly afterwards is still there. And he's he had to wait for me to be unloaded. So, <laughs> I mean, if I did turn up at nine o'clock, then um, I probably wouldn't even be started right now. So I'm, I'm glad I turned up when I did. That's for sure. Never mind. We got a we got a 45 minute break in while we were waiting, and then um, we were about half an hour or so taking it all off. So at least I've reset my driving time because I did. I've done two and a half hours driving this morning already, leaving um, Lincoln Farm truck stop. So we've reset the driving time. We're now heading to Southampton. It's only 50 minutes away, so we should be there for about half 10. Uh, hopefully we're out of there by 11, but uh, it might be half 11. And then by the time we get back to Swindon, it's gonna be like one, two o'clock. And uh, yeah, by the time we leave Shep, it's probably gonna be three-ish. And then chatting them for like four-ish, I would, I would estimate, but um, We'll have to see. I've received a message from the boss saying keep him updated on my progress today because the chap who is loading me has to meet me there or something. So I don't actually know where I'm going yet. <laughs> but um, that would say to me, like, it's probably... Well, it's, it's over one or two things. It's over a uh, an area where you you need to be guided in or you're going to get lost. Or it's an area which is quiet and there's no one there. And... Uh, he just needs to know what time to meet me there so he can load me. One, one or the other. So, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I ain't worried about that just yet. But no, let's carry on. Let's crack on to Southampton. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're in Southampton. We're uh, waiting to turn left at this junction here. We're just around the corner. Just got to keep an eye out for anything on the left-hand side of me. Because I'm sort of halfway on the left lane and the middle lane to go straight on. Because that's uh, a bit of a tight left turn. Just keeping an eye on the traffic lights. Just let me go. Excellente. I'm not entirely sure this is the right way in, to be honest. Looks a bit weird. I'm looking at sorry, I'm looking at the sat nav. So obviously I've never been in here in this place before. Oh yeah, Costco, here we go. This is where we're going. Okay, right place, right place. This is the right place. Du, du, du. In we go. Oh, that was a bit tight. Costco wholesale, straight on. So yeah, we've um, got to go down to Costco down the bottom. On uh, Street View, it looks like there is like a Turner circle at the bottom uh, and you can quite clearly see blue pallets stacked. So that's good. Oh, that's, that's... Oh, sorry, I was so confused right now. I was expecting like a big warehouse, uh, but it's actually a shop. <laughs> I, was actually, I was I was expecting like an RDC or something, but no, it's a it, 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 it's a shop. I guess it's a cash it's a cash and carry, isn't it? Costco. Thinking about it. So I wasn't expecting to see a fuel station or anything like that. <laughs> anyway, deliveries. Oh, uh, there's a truck in here. Am I allowed to go straight in when there's a truck in here? There's room. There's room on the left. That truck's getting loaded with pallets as well. He's only got one side on and he's not even strapped. Yes, we're going to be here a little while, I think. We'll, uh, we're going to have to park up here. There's one. There's a. Yeah, there's there's a bay there as well. 
trucks can pass me here, so it's going to stop here. And uh, yeah, I'll go and speak to the forklifter. He knows I'm here. Well, I'm assuming he knows I'm here. But what a lot of forklifters do is they see you, they see you turn up, and then they, they run off, they run away. Happens all the time. Bloody forklifters. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, go see him, tell him I'm here. And then hopefully we can get loaded and, and out of here. I hope, I would hope by by half eleven, but it's, it's 20 past ten now. I don't think we're going to be out by half eleven. We will see. See you in a bit. What time is it? It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! What time is it? It's time for lunch! It's lunch time! Hey, what's for lunch? Okay. We're loaded. And, uh... <laughs> uh we've been here for ages. Oh, I also met, uh, Trucking Chris. He's uh, another YouTuber, does YouTube stuff, uh, vlogs. I'll uh, put a link to his channel in the description. I had a little chat with him. Didn't, didn't get any footage, <laughs> but I had a little chat with him. Uh, but yeah, go check out Truck and Chris. I got a photo actually of his truck. Anyway, yeah, we're just leaving. Uh, we got here at 20 past 10. It's now almost 20 past 1. Three hours, almost. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's massively put us back. Oh look, there's a jet jet plane there. Rather dirty jet plane. Yeah, it's put us back quite a bit, obviously, as you would expect. But uh, what we, what can we do? Um, yeah, nothing I can do about it. Never mind. Um, we're on our way now to <laughs> to Swindon. Um, I'm going to assume we're still heading to Cheltenham afterwards. Uh, we will see what the time is when we get there because it might be too late, I don't know. Or they might say, yeah, still go and get loaded. I'm not sure yet. Either way, we will find out. Uh, I'm just going to crack on now and get on uh, with getting to Swindon. I will see you <laughs> in a little while. See you in a bit. Yeah, so just an update. <laughs> um, we've been in Shep now, Swindon, for about for about an hour and a half just queuing up to get in um, which means today it, it's just been one of those days today where it's just been waiting everywhere the first job I was there for nearly two hours the second job I was there for nearly three hours and so far here is an hour and a half a six and a half hours waiting today just waiting around ah! but never mind uh, <laughs> I'm still, I've still got to go to Cheltenham, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I've been given the address. Um, it's an hour and 20 minutes away. So if I left right now, I wouldn't get there until 20 past 5 tonight. Um, I've looked on Google, and I think it says they close at 5 o'clock. So I'm not sure if I am going or not. I don't know. Uh, the boss hasn't said. But um, it's currently 5 past 4 in the evening. It's it's going to get dark soon. So I thought I'd quickly say what's happened. But, um, but yeah, no, it's just been... A, it's been a terrible day today. Uh, it's just been waiting around. It's, it, it, it's what I don't like the most. Just waiting around. Um, but nothing I can do about that. Just nothing I can do. Sometimes that happens in transport. But it's just annoying. Because I'm, I swear I said it. Sat to, I swear I said. Today sounds like an easy day. Because all i got to do is Basingstoke. Then down to Southampton. To Swindon. To Cheltenham. That's all i got to do. Sounds simple. But I just knew it wasn't going to be simple. I had a feeling. And I've proven right. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. The next time you see me, it's either going to be dark today um, or dark tomorrow, I expect. Or maybe even light tomorrow. I, don't, I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Oh, text message. What's this? Okay, I'm not going to chat with them today. Okay, tomorrow. It's because it's cause of all the waiting around today. But the least I've got to do tonight, I suppose. Right. Quarter to eight tomorrow I've got to be there. So it should be about about lightish, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! <laughs> 
you join me in Cheltenham, uh, where we are, well, where we were supposed to be yesterday, but obviously yesterday's bismal day. Do you know what? I totted it up. We were hanging around for about seven hours yesterday. Seven hours just hanging around, waiting to be loaded and unloaded. Yesterday was a bad day. Very bad day. But hopefully today's going to be a bit better. We're, um, like I said, we're just around the corner from Cheltenham now. I think what I'm probably going to do is... Um, turn up to this place and then probably end the video and then uh, you'll see the rest in the next video because I think this is getting quite long now this video this is the third day I've been recording <laughs> so it's gonna be a long one I think right we're gonna turn green yes baby all right so mind that traffic light on the left I'm very tight against that traffic light there we go we just made it just made it round that was a tight one uh, we are going straight on this roundabout, straight over. Excellente, and then we need to make a right hand turn on Mackenzie Way. I can see a lot of cars potentially going down there already. down here we go yeah because there's a car park down here so I can see a lot of uh, a lot of cars trying to get into the car park now what's the best bet for me they got they got vans out I think the best bet for me is probably to turn left drive down there and reverse in yeah they got their own vans in at the moment so we're gonna have to wait for their vans to clear off before we go on in Right, <coughs> I'm going to go and speak to someone, let them know I'm here, although there is people looking at me already, so I'm sure they know I'm here. And uh, yeah, let's go get loaded. Well actually, this is going to be the end of this video, isn't it? So, <laughs> thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I've not been too boring, waiting, for, uh, waiting around for everything, so yeah. Thanks for watching, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, I will see you soon. And... Uh, in the next video, you'll see me get loaded. See you in a bit.